Thank you. Graham Thompson, iPolitics. Yes, uh, Minister, just to go over a question you've been asked, I think, um, several times now, but just get it clear in my mind. I'm quoting here from the Allen report saying that he has not found any suggestions of wrongdoing on the part of any individual or organization. No individual or organization, in his view, has done anything illegal. Indeed, they have exercised their right of free speech. But you've spent you know, two years, three and a half million dollars investigating people and organizations who were simply exercising the rights of free speech, according to Allen. So was it worth it in the sense, I know you're saying it was wrong, maybe not illegal, but you spent all this time and money investigating people who were doing legal activities, exercising the rights of free speech? Um, frankly, I don't care if the activity is legal or illegal. The fact that it's, uh, whether it was legal or not, was not part of the terms of reference. We didn't ask him to find that. And frankly, it doesn't matter. I think the report speaks for, for itself. Okay, it's a follow-up. Then what in this report would stop these individuals, organizations, from continuing to exercise their right to free speech? Look, I don't think there's any, any issue or concern with anybody exercising their right to, to free speech. And there's no doubt that many of these organizations and activists have genuine concerns for, the, for climate change and the environment. That's a given. But what's the problem here is the lack of transparency, the lack of disclosure of foreign funding coming across the border and what it's used for, where it came from. I, I think that's the problem. And I think the other issue here is uh, it's not a matter of freedom of speech or, or, or expression. It's a matter of disclosure and transparency. 